This your boy E. Wilson right here, Irving, Texas, with Sunday's Inspirator Word of the Week. Listen, this is the word today for men, married couples. I just finished seeing the movie called Do You Believe? Do You Believe? Great movie, great movie. A lot of stuff came out of the movie. Um, but what stuck out to me in the movie uh, one particular character was a firefighter who had um, came up on an accident scene and the guy was, um, he, he was in bad shape. I think a ball or something fell over top of him and um, the fireman had, was trying to, he did everything in the protocol to try to save the guy. They were waiting for an ambulance or something to come or a crane to move the thing off of him and he got caught in a situation and he wound up praying for the guy and then asking the guy, I think, to accept the Lord into his life. Uh, the guy accepted the Lord, and then he passed away. And he, he had put a cross in the man's hand. And so, anyway, the man passes away. When the man's wife shows up to the accident scene, she sees her husband is gone, so she's frantic. And then she sees this cross. And she was like, what is this? So it comes to find out that um, the wife now was aggravated that this quote-unquote Christian uh, fireman uh, must have prayed or whatever. So she made a big thing about it. And um, the whole city, uh, the union and everything was going to be against this fireman for the good that he did because he went against protocol. And they wanted him to write this letter of apology uh, to the lady. And he wouldn't do it because he said, um, if he's going to be guilty for doing what's right, then let it be. And so the challenge was now that the fireman's wife was upset now because they were getting ready to lose everything because of his stance. And the one thing he kept saying is that I'm trying to do right, which was letting me know he really didn't want to do it. But something deeper, which was God, I believe on the inside of him was pushing him to take his stand, to get ready to go through whatever he was going to go through to please God. So on that note, what I want to share for the men out there, I'm going to call this, and I've called this for years, is the isolation booth. If you look in the Bible, whether it was Job and what he was going through and how his wife responded and say, why don't you just curse God? Or if it was Sarah who was laughing at Abraham because he was believing the promises. You are going to find yourself, I don't care how long you've been married, if you're on purpose and you're going after what God wants, you're going to find yourself in an isolation booth where your wife, if you have kids, or even people around you, organization, ministry, your business, do not see what you see. And what I'm here to tell you is that it's okay. They're not supposed to be able to see everything that you see. You're supposed to be able to see what you see. Now, the problem comes when you let what they can't see blind you from what you do see. And that's the case that we have with Adam. Adam understood his role, what he was supposed to do. His wife saw something different. That was okay. But when he stepped down from his position to come in agreement with her, everything went to pots. So for the men, I encourage you, if this is what you feel strongly about, we're not talking about doing nothing stupid, but faith in will make you look stupid. But if it's something that you believe you need to stand on, the only thing I can tell you is just believe. You can't worry about your wife, you gotta pray for her. For the sisters out there, the women, if your husband is lining up with God. Let me say this, you're fighting him as training. It's training. But if y'all come into agreement, things will flow faster because it's not about your marriage. The marriage was created to glorify God. There are benefits from the marriage that we get to experience, but the marriage was supposed to be another level of service. So the encouragement today, again, men, you're going to find yourself in the isolation booth. I just want you to know it's okay. Well, E, what should I do? Just believe.
You gotta believe God for the situation. You gotta be, believe God to minister to your wife. You gotta believe God for the wisdom in order to continue to keep things going while you're still fighting to believe, knowing that you really don't wanna do what God's calling you to do, but just believe. E. Wilson right here, inspirator word of the week right here, Irving, Texas. If you're gonna have a conversation, make it a good one. Brothers, I'm encouraging you. We need you. Just believe. I'm out.